something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. I'm here with my wife for just a day here before I head off to further adventures while she heads back to the farm. But we stopped in Gettysburg and this is called a scoot coop. I wanted to take you and do kind of a review of this because it's the most unusual vehicle and it's it's made in America, which is kind of cool. These things that I know of have been around since about 2008. That was the first time they showed up on my radar. In fact, they gave away one of these on The Price is Right when they first came out. A great way to advertise your new company. Hopefully they're still being made. What I do know about them is that they were available either with a 50cc or 150cc engine and they're made it to a CVT transmission. And what that means is for their size, they have a great power to uh, speed ratio. You can really get up and go no matter whether you're on the hills or on the flats. Now they do max out at about 45, 50 miles an hour. Uh, honestly though, anything over about 35 feels like you're doing 65. So we tend to keep it between 25 and 35 for most of our driving. What it is is a two-seater. It's got two wheels up front to do the steering. The engine sits over the rear tire, giving it plenty of traction in the rear. It does have a little trunk here. And uh, this was rented from a place called Getty's Peds right here in Gettysburg. Pennsylvania. They've been around also since, I don't know what, 2010? Somewhere around there. Great guys moved from Indiana. Got a husband and wife team that moved from Indiana. We had dinner with them years ago, but uh, good people. So anyway, let's take a walk around this thing. Regular car size tires up front and a conventional suspension. It's the upper and lower control arms, uh, spring over shock suspension up front, and it does have a nice frame. The body's fiberglass. It does have blinkers, does have lights making it road legal, and uh, no, uh, it's an air-cooled engine as far as I know. I haven't actually popped the hood to see what it looks like, but I assume it's air-cooled like any scooter would be these days. Vented front disc brakes gives it plenty of stopping power. You can see the two seats here. Bucket recline seats here, they're padded. Not the most comfortable, but they don't really need to be the most comfortable for what you're doing here. And the whole body's made out of fiberglass. Gauge and instrumentation is actually pretty impressive. You got your fuel gauge, your speedometer, you got an odometer and a trip odometer. And then you have a tachometer as well. And the controls are regular motorcycle controls. Does have hydraulic brakes and does have high and low beams. This is your park lock here, right? You have horn, turn signals, lights on and off, engine kill and start. So pretty conventional like moped or scooter type controls there. It does have a locking glove box which was kind of cool and you can see down here at the back this one has 16,000 miles on it just imagine that for a second if you want to know if this thing is reliable again american made product it is reliable 16,000 miles certainly these are not the original tires not and probably not the original many other things but replacement parts are apparently available they have a fleet of about six of these things from what i've seen rolling through town and they give guided tours or you know, hourly tours, whatever you want to do with them. We rented it for the day, and uh, it's really worthwhile. It's from 10 to 6, and we'll be doing a whole bunch of fun stuff with it. But the Scoot Coupe, the Scoot Coupe, what an unusual vehicle to come across, and a really cool one. I could just envision uh, a town that just basically said, hey, you just got to have nothing but these. I think they probably do that in beached resort towns or islands or something like that. But it's really fun to drive. Jen, what do you think? Is it, is it comfortable enough when cruising down the road? It's not bad, except for that occasional pothole you hit. Yeah, the suspension is good. I think it's about as good as any motorcycle, but it's definitely not up to par with a car. And of course, having it straddle, you can straddle a pothole in the front, but you're gonna hit it directly with the rear. That's about the only downside, I think, to that three-wheel setup, but very stable feeling while driving in it. Anyway, I guess that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Firepoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me as the weeks go on. We're going to be going all over the north of America. We're going to go up into New York and Vermont and, and Massachusetts and wherever. I don't even know. Depends on how long the Volvo holds out. I'll see you next time. Take care.